7 more tips for using Darktable. You may remember that some time ago, I made a video with 7 tips to use Darktable. Now, I've got 7 more tips for you to make your editing even better. Number 1. Use Waveforms. The waveform indicates not only the tonal distribution for your whole photo, but for each vertical segment. This will help you adjust your exposure and tones much better than the outdated histogram. Number 2. Adjust opacity to get more fine grain control over effects. If you have a complex effect like the RGB curve with many adjustments, but you think the effect is too strong, instead of trying to make the effect more subtle using the module controls, change the blend mode to uniformly and adjust the opacity instead. It gives you much more control, and you can also adjust the opacity if you're using a drawn mask or parametric mask. Number 3. Sigmoid and Pink Sunsets If your sunsets or sunrises look too pink with the Sigmoid module, slowly drag the Preserve Hue slider back a little and the color will be recovered. This also works for other colors that may be distorted by Sigmoid. Number 4. Vignetting If you want to add vignetting, don't use the vignetting module. Instead, use a tone curve or tone equalizer and draw an elliptical mask. Not only is the position of the vignette easier to control with this method, you can also choose which tones will be darkened in the vignette, which can help you create a more subtle and natural effect. Grouping photos. Let's say you have three photos of an anhinga, but they are not side by side. You can group them by selecting all three and pressing Ctrl G. Then you can sort your images by group to have them side by side. You can also collapse groups by pressing the Collapse Groups button, which is really helpful for scrolling through huge amounts of images. Number 6. Compress History Stack If your edits are getting too long and complex, and it's hard to understand what you've done in the History Stack, you may want to compress the History Stack. It puts multiple adjustments of the same module into a single entry, and thus makes your history less cluttered. Finally, Number 7. Tool Tips if you don't like the fact that Darktable shows tooltips every time you hover over anything, simply press Shift T to get rid of them. If you change your mind, too late. Just joking. Press Shift T again to get them back. I hope you like these tips on using Darktable, but if you didn't, try using Raw Therapy instead.